Hey, this Bo White Killer here at the uh, Kelly Haney Center. It's kind of the post forum after uh, the forum. You get to see about two hours, two and a half hours of, uh, of uh, talk between the uh, candidates. Uh, some good discussion, good questions, actually, from the audience that was given. Uh, wanted to uh, uh, see how, what, you, what you're thinking about some of these things. I did get uh, a lot of information from the uh, feed that was going on. Uh, we will try to get some of your questions next time through the live, live Facebook. Um, uh, this is the first time we've been trying to do this, but get some questions from the live Facebook feed from, for uh, candidates. Uh, uh, I did say next time, so it was announced uh, that it, there's a possibility for another one happening, so we'll see. But just be looking. It's a short time. Uh, but we may have another candidate forum or, or a, a forum that uh, you, you out there will be able to feed some questions. So we'll see how that works. Um, a lot of talk about the economics, uh, the McGirt issue, as well as uh, uh, plans for the future from the candidates. Again, the assistant chief uh, position is one that fulfills the uh, roles and responsibility, that, roles and responsibilities of what the chief uh, delegates to him. So uh, there was a lot of a lot of discussion on that. Um, but uh, it was, overall, it was, it was a pretty good pretty good uh, event. I hope you get to see it, get to see the playback on it. Um, Maybe we can get someone over here to talk about their experience on it. Just, I'm just kind of wanting to see and stand by. We have the uh, guest uh, that was here in the. Uh, we're on Facebook Live. Just saying hi. Just wanted to appreciate you being out here. Just share a little bit about your information of who you are and where you came from, and just uh, what your. Uh, uh, interest is in politics. Oh, well, thank you. I appreciate the opportunity to speak personally and uh, kind of step down off of the podium for a minute. Uh, my name is Alexandra Stokes, and I am from the Tom Palmer Band. I just recently moved to Oklahoma City from Wisconsin. Before that, I was living out there in California. So, a couple moves across the country, but I feel like I finally found what home is, and just being a part of this community, sense of belonging, um, means so much to me. So That's it's great. been a privilege. That's great. What What are some of the things being an, uh, an outside look in? Uh, what are some things that you're seeing initially? I know you know as a, as a moderator, as a host, you know you're kind of limited to what you your your, your boundaries, I guess you say. But what, as a member, what are some concerns that you have? Well, first and foremost, I see a number of challenges and I also see a number of opportunities. I think it depends on having the right team in place to help actualize the change that needs to happen and maintain those things that we're already doing well, right? What should we start doing? What should we stop doing? And what do we need to continue doing? Um, and I think the best way we can do that is through collaboration. And that's where disagreement is critical. It's kind of our secret ingredient for success. You have to have people addressing different circumstances from different angles to really get a holistic approach um, and ultimately get to what's best, what's best for our people and what's best for our future. Uh, language was exhibited tonight by, by you and oh. a couple of others. Uh, tell us about your experience learning and understanding and knowing the language. Sure, I've actually had the privilege of taking three virtual learning courses. Um, the beginner's course offered by Melanie Fry, an intermediate course through Natalie Harjo, and um, the current class that I'm attending is facilitated by Ben Yahola. So it's been a really interesting experience learning from so many unique personalities and getting to connect with our people in our tribal nation from all over the country. So it's been a real treat. Uh, the the, uh, the COVID pandemic has uh, provided us with the Zoom technology, and it's really helped out a lot to be able to outreach and talk to one another from different areas. Uh, I think I remember seeing you on a couple of them. So now, uh, your your, your uh, command of the language is is you got me thinking in language as well. <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate that. I have so much to learn, and I think that's the beauty of of life and living each day. You know, you have an opportunity to learn something new and. Um, every day I learn something new in our language, and I couldn't be happier. Maro, chie chathlis, Ms. Stokes, and uh, thank you for coming by. Maro, haram chie chathlis. All right. Well, we'll uh, see if we can get someone else. Be careful. Have a good trip. Thank you.
Uh, let's see if we can get some more, somebody to come out and share some of their information. Uh, but yeah, it was, you know, things like that. Uh, we had a lot of young people that were here. Uh, it was mentioned on the panel earlier, uh, the candidates that, uh, uh, you know, age, you have a, a young uh, a young age demographic that's actually watching. And I know from the metrics that we measure through Facebook, we see a lot of young people that are actually uh, becoming more and more uh, watchers of things that we do and, and things that's being done. So uh, they're getting away from TikTok, Snapchat, Turning into the Seminole Nation radio program, so can't can't uh, can't knock for that. But I do appreciate the the effort that the that each one of the candidates put out tonight. You know, they were talking about economics, talking about the McGirt issue, uh, the random questions that came about uh, regarding law enforcement. Um, on the playback, you'll be seeing uh, some of the some of the answers. It's a it's an issue that uh, we here in the nation are definitely trying to um, build up and and to. Uh, uh, sustain more and more law enforcement and dedicated law enforcement, uh, but it is a complex issue. Um, let me see. I can get one of the moderators to come by here. Um, but uh, I'm just going to let it play out a little bit. Um, like I said, it was an, it was another evening. Uh, we did have the Chiefs candidate forum here a while back, and you can see all these uh, playbacks on our YouTube channel. So if you get a chance to check out the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma YouTube channel, uh, you'll have all the recordings there uh, for your viewing. Um, we do have, I want to make a quick announcement, we do have a, a sim, separate Seminole Nation of Oklahoma Facebook page for community events and uh, uh, anything that has to do with our tribal uh, members the citizens we have a, that page so it is the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma community and events page it's uh, going to be run separate than the Seminole Nation of Oklahoma Facebook page which will be more government related issues and uh, so check it out two issues of uh, Seminole Nation information being put out um, let me see well I do see uh, we have a number of uh, council reps that are out here uh, representing in the area um, let me see if I can catch the moderator real quick. Doc, Dr. Blue, can I bother you for about two seconds? Uh, by all means. <laughs> this is Dr. Blue. He was one of the uh, moderators here, and we have on our Seminole Nation of Oklahoma Facebook Live people. And Great. How, how do you prepare for these things? What's your prepare for uh, these? Prayer. <laughs> Absolutely. Stuffing myself with food <laughs> uh, and uh, talking with my colleagues about uh, what to do, how to do it. Uh, with uh, David uh, about how many people will be involved mm -hmm. uh, physically here online mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, time frame uh, uh, we, we bring watches and mm -hmm. cell phones for timing mm -hmm. otherwise people Sp want to speak and we'd be here until next Tuesday. You guys did a great job, very efficient, and I do appreciate you well, coming here. Well, it, it's the MC uh, yeah. Stokes. She did a great job did. tonight. Yes. She did a really good job. Tonight. She carries an invisible whip. <laughs> and and I commend you, as, you yourself as well, for putting it all through electronics. Well, we tried to do it worked. We can. Dr. Blue, I know you got a busy evening. It, Thank you very much, sir. Mundo. Appreciate it. Mundo. In God. Mm -hmm. Doc Blue, he's uh, out here, been here last time with the Chiefs Forum. Let me get uh, another one of the candidates here. <clears throat> Looks like Anthony Buddy Wood. Anthony Buddy Wood, we're here on the Facebook Live. Uh, tell us a little bit about your experience tonight. It was an awesome experience. I had a lot of fun tonight. We've been able to be with our people, being able to bring our candidate forum to each one of them, knowing, let them know who we are, what we're, what we're about i tell you this is something that is we can live for and the people can pick who they want all i ask them is to get out there and vote show their voice mm -hmm. you know if i'm elected i won't be their voice for sure but i'm, I'm gonna be there I'll, I'll make sure that they understand i will fight for whatever they need and i will not take a second seat to nobody we'll make sure our nation is held to the top of its prestige like it needs to be we're a force to be reckoned with. No one don't need it. We don't need to take a seat to, second seat to nobody. We need to set the pace and make sure everybody follows us. Mm -hmm. This is what we've got to look forward to. This future's ours, mm -hmm. and we can make it happen. If it's a new council, new administration, the future's bright open mm -hmm. for everybody. Mm -hmm. It was an awesome night. I enjoyed it. I tell you what, 
It's a dream of mine. I hope that we get elected. If we do, it's awesome. <laughs> what are we What are we doing afterwards? What's your plan afterwards of these things? After this one? Yeah. I'm fixing to go and head back towards Wewoker. The alumni has asked me to stop by, so I got to go visit with the alumni. I got a big uh, rally tomorrow at 2:30 to 4:30 at the north end of Wewoker on Main Street, and it will be. I'll have hot dogs, hamburgers, and a live band. So I want everybody to attend, come on down, and we'll have fun, and we'll have a good time. All right, live band, that looks, sounds like fun. So, well, appreciate it, uh, and thank you for coming by. Thank and, you. Uh, we'll see you guys later. Hello, Mr. Charles, Mado. Mado. So you have Anthony Wood, Mr. Wood, Buddy Wood, coming there. Just got a busy night, getting ready to go out there. Uh, but uh, once again, you know, we got a lot of, a lot of time, July, 10th july 10th uh we did get the, some information about transit going to provide some rides here out here in the area uh, so if you're looking for a ride to the poles the transit will be providing uh, rides all throughout Seminole uh, boundary area so check them out uh, we did put the information out on our uh, social media pages so if you're looking for a ride or want to schedule a ride uh, to the poles um, it will be there Uh, some of the council rep candidates did come out tonight, and they wanted to just share some of their uh, uh, time with them. We do have one uh, here. Uh, state your name, and what position are you running with? I'm Nikina Didana, and I'm running for um, uh, Ufala Band Chief. All right. Well, uh, what's your experience? What did you think about tonight? It was good. It was um, very informative. Yeah, a lot of good dreams, a lot of uh, big dreams, and if we could just, uh, you know, fulfill them, they would be all right. Uh, one step to fulfilling them is uh, stating their cases tonight. Uh, how do you think the, the cases were stated tonight? I think they were stated very well. Mm -hmm. yeah, I have nothing bad to say about them. <laughs> <laughs> Great. All right, well, uh, good luck to you, and we just want to say hadam chi chathlis. We'll see you later. Maru. All right, maru to you mm -hmm. too. <laughs> All right, so we got some candidates uh, for council out here in the area uh, just showing off. They're... Uh, uh, stance so uh, I do see one of the chief candidates out here talking we'll see if we get her to come by and say a few words here shortly Let's see. Cena Well, engaging in candidates tonight, so that's one of the things about the elections. You engage candidates, and you come out and you talk to uh, folks. Uh, uh, David Frank, David Frank and Muskogee Group. We got to give a shout out to them. They did a really good job tonight in arranging this. Uh, it was a uh, nice affair out here, and we want to say thank you to the uh, Seminole State uh, College, Lana Reynolds, and uh, th for the use of the Kelly Haney Center, of course. Uh, once again, they've done a top-notch job of having everything prepared and ready for us to uh, come out here and just uh, you know, share this time. So uh, it's a group effort, collaborative effort. Just want to say thank you to all of them. And let me see if we get this young man. David. Give a shout out here. Just want to give a shout out to Dave Frank for here. Dave Frank, you put in his, like I said, Muskogee group, arranged it, had a good time out here. Um, overall, it was a good event. Um, some of the things, takeaways that we had tonight. Um, what, are, what are your takeaways? Well, you know, it's always good to be informed, mm -hmm. you know, uh, just to hear where they stand on the different issues and we can make a more informed decision. Mm -hmm. uh, that's my takeaway. You yeah. know, I just appreciate everybody coming out everybody that uh, watched live and uh, and for you you know and all you do for the nation and uh, these types of events i really appreciate it it's teamwork teamwork sure. team teamwork and uh, collaborative effort and so that right. uh, and, uh, you, you see you see ben telling my for that songs oh, out man. there i'll tell you that well, how about that huh? oh the speech at the end that kind of got me fired up man. <laughs> I felt, felt like i was that hoyo you know <laughs> but anyway uh, uh we're gonna have a uh a forum for the uh uh, council candidates and uh, it's not set in stone yet but it'll be uh, outside 
here next Sunday evening, not tomorrow, not this weekend, but the following weekend, the weekend before the election. Mm. I'm still finalizing the details, but we definitely want to be able to hear from those council candidates as well. Okay, yeah. okay. we'll see. They're covering all bases here. And uh, when that information comes out, we'll definitely put it out there to you guys so you'll know where and you can tune in for your uh, council rep uh, to see um, what they have to say and get them on council. Right. All right. Thank what you, what you doing after this? Oh, man, that's a secret. I can't, I can't divulge <laughs> that kind of information. All right. No, I'm just going to go home and relax. And, I hear you. And just uh, soak it all in. Hydrate, brother. Hydrate. That's right. All right. Maro, Hydrate, Machia, Charlie's. All right. So. But uh, that was one of the things that we, would, we must say is a collaborative effort on all this. So um, we're talking about, you know, working together. Speaking of collaborative effort, we're here with a candidate uh, for chief, uh, Sina Yesleth. Uh, Sina, we're here Facebook Live. What's your take on what happened tonight? What would you say? What would you think? Um, it went really well. I think everybody did really well and did good. Um, everybody had good answers. Everybody's got good attributes to bring to the table. So it'll be interesting to see because there's so many candidates running. And um, I don't know, just make sure you come out and vote July 10th. Um, exercise your right. Put your opinion in um, on who you want uh, for assistant chief, your band rep, and for chief. Yeah. yeah. Um, when they do things like this, we had a pretty good group that moderated, pretty good group that's uh, unbiased and all this. What, uh, what, are your, what was your preparation on the, the last week whenever you, you had uh, this, this being the first time you ran? What was your preparation? Uh, my preparation mainly was just settling, settling my nerves and just knowing what um, I wanted to have the people hear. Um, and just any of the questions that I could think of that would probably come up and come out and be asked was just knowing just the background of what I've been through with the last eight years and just what's been continuously going and just sitting in my living room, just prepping myself, <laughs> like, and talking likes to, to my dog. Like yeah. the Jotty Jeopardy, I guess. Yes, uh huh, <laughs> yes. Okay. Well, um, anything? Um, well, I'm, and I'd appreciate the, the votes, I'd appreciate the support. We just, you know, I just would like a change for the people, um, people overall. Everybody has um, a voice and everybody should have a voice. Um, I feel like as being a Miccosukee band representative, I'm just not there for my band. I've been there for everybody and it hasn't been just in general the past since the COVID. It's been the last eight years just in needing phone numbers, fax numbers, resources, uh, different programs and, you know, concerns and how to get assistance. So just want to carry it forward and keep going and, and help the nation get better and grow and to succeed and for because we got future generations we're looking out for mm -hmm. so. uh, when you hear the uh this assistant chief candidates and some mm -hmm. of their ideas and things what what runs through your mind when you hear that um a lot of good ideas mm -hmm. a lot of good ideas um as far as every one of them like i said they bring different attributes i know a lot of them from just church family you know just the gatherings and hearing them speak or are having um, the privilege of working alongside them with you know within the tribe and different things hearing all of them and what they say and what they said they'll bring I think a majority of them will uh, and I only say a majority because there's a few I know people are hesitant about and I have had interactions that you know not to say are negative but it just I don't know, just what I've dealt with and what I've seen here is kind of a conflict mm -hmm. there. So, But I think right now, too, everybody sees where we're standing and what's mm -hmm. going on, that they want what's best, and maybe maybe they've turned things around. We'll see. I don't know. But as far as what they've brought for um, our economic, um, for our language and our cultural, uh, I'm. it's exciting. Like I said, it's exciting. We've got seven running. Um, everybody brings good things. And so... I'm just ready to see what's going to happen for the people. What are you doing after this? Uh, going to get dinner. <laughs> okay, <laughs> going we'll to let get you dinner. Go. Thank, Thank you. Uh -huh. yeah. and, uh, Thank you. You got any events coming up? Um, I will be in Tulsa at La Fortune Far uh, Park this um, Sunday, two to four, and then I'm looking to set another one either in Seminar or Shawnee. I've had some people that couldn't make it down from Oklahoma City. We were there last weekend, but mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thanks. Be careful. Uh -huh. All right, let's see. I think we've got one more assistant chief candidate. You're going to let her, let her share her time with her. Ms. Lyons Echo Hawk, uh, young man. Uh -huh, chinda. <laughs> hey, we're here with uh, Ms. Lyons Echo Hawk here. I just wanted to make sure that we get it right. Yeah. Everybody, that's uh, for, for our Facebook family out there. 
State your name. Uh, Jay Show Lyons, Echohawk, Jaha Jeff Godos. Mm, not that hard, huh? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Hey, tonight, what's your thoughts? It was, what's your takeaways from this, this event tonight, and uh, what was your preparation for this? Um, well, really, a lot of the questions that they asked concerned, like, my platform mm -hmm. that I already have. I don't know where you want me to look, but, um, yeah, I, I don't think that I had too much prep. Some of it's uh, been some work that I've long been doing for mm -hmm. years, and then some of it was related to uh, my recent um, uh, program that I started with the uh, OU's, uh, call it, or excuse me, OU's MLS Indigenous Peoples Law. It's such a long, long <laughs> title, but a necessary degree when we think about uh, tribal government, who's leading it, um, who's working in administrations. Mm -hmm. um, I think a lot of times too, like, you know, you get our folks here that um, really don't understand the, the severity of some of these, um, the language that we use, um, these court rulings, treaties that are already in place, why we get money. Um, and then sometimes it seems like we just take the scraps. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, I think having somebody who's um, kind of you know, all around informed, like community, um, as well as education, I think would be, a, you know, quite an asset to our Seminole Nation as we are looking towards um, the future. Mm -hmm. uh, I do feel pretty good about um, how I guess, you know, presented myself. Um, some of the, the responses of the other candidates were a little surprising for me, um, just because some of them have been in tribal government for a long time. And so I was you know, they're the ones that are supposed to be conveying a lot of these issues and providing us the context as tribal citizens. Um, if they can't even do that right now, then how are they going to do, you know, in the second top position of our nation? Mm -hmm. well, one of the, you, you seem to have a, a, out of all the candidates, the, the most uh, visible on your social media platform, which, uh, you know, it's out there. Mm -hmm. How important is social media, you think, with these elections, especially with our tribal government and our tribal uh, people? I think it's one, you know, method of communication. Uh, I uh, became very, uh, well, I ran for my house district where I live um, up mm -hmm. north in uh, House District 35. I pursued that position in 2018 because I was concerned about the state tribal gaming compacts. Mm -hmm. I knew that they were up in uh, 20, uh, or coming up in 2019, uh, 2020. And at that time, you know, we didn't know who our governor was going to be. Mm -hmm. We couldn't have predicted that we would get a tribal citizen who was very anti-sovereign. Um, you know, such a contradiction there, <laughs> but such is life. So I had been, you know, talking to some of the tribal uh, nations that I'm a part of, you know, um, as a descendant and then as an enrolled member and wondering what the plan was, you know, what are you guys doing? Even some of these bigger nations, because like, I think the Chickasaw Nation or the Choctaw Nation has like a liaison in the, mm -hmm. in the state, uh, rep, uh, state capital. Mm -hmm. And so I was just Pick, you know, picking their brains about what they were thinking and what was going to happen. Of course, most of them were like, it's just going to roll over because, you know, we don't have any reason to renegotiate. Mm -hmm. You know, it's just going to be what it is, which is fine until you get somebody who doesn't see it that way and wages a frivolous lawsuit, if you will. Um, and then we as tribal citizens, because we're also state citizens, are paying, you know, for that court case against our own interests. So, um, that was something that I wanted to pursue uh, in the house. My district is also rural, so I got good at um, not just knocking doors and talking to people who weren't used to seeing a candidate like me on their doors in that type of community, but also making presence known on social media. Um, and then last year when we were doing, um, when I was doing census outreach, mm -hmm. that was part of our work as well, was putting together, um, I mean, I'm an organizer at heart, so if we need to throw a, a thing in a minute, we can. Um, I usually have a good group of volunteers or friends or family who are willing to, you know, get behind me and, and rally. And so um, for a census outreach, something that's a topic that many of us don't even know, <laughs> having to translate and communicate that very, um, I, I called it infotainment, so in an informational, entertaining way. And so all of that was just skills and experience that I've had and carried over to, to this election, to this campaign. And so I know um, statistically a lot of people, not just tribal members, but a lot of people in the United States get their information from social media, I think mm -hmm. it's like 70%. Mm -hmm. It's it's interesting, you know, Facebook, YouTube, all of it, people, that's their uh, source of news or information. Right. So that's what we're using as one method, but I'm also in the community. I'm also knocking doors. Um, some of the people know me from other work that I've done, and some people are just meeting me for the first time. 
Some people are, fi you know, we're finding out we're family members. Um, and I'm changing minds. Some of them were set on somebody until they, we start talking and visiting. And there's really, honestly, a lot of tribal members, though, that just haven't ever been heard. Mm -hmm. And that's not something that I'm, um, like, I'm used to. Or it is something I'm used to because when I was knocking in 2018, um, there's just so many people that don't get engaged civically. Um, they, they really do feel, you know, like, what's the point in voting? Mm -hmm. What's in it for me? Nothing. They're just going to do what they're going to do. And I want to change minds. You know, I want, I want to be part of the catalyst for making sure our members are participating in an engaging way in the way we know how. So. And you're doing it. I mean, you, like I said, you're one out of the ones that we see. We talk about social media context within our little group. Uh, um, you're doing a good job out there and what's in the campaigns and what you're doing uh, uh, socially you know, for um, murder, mi missing indigenous uh, people. So. Thank you for that. I know you're busy. Uh, <laughs> take care. Yeah. Uh, what, what are some of your events got coming up? Oh, what are you yeah. doing? Yes, you I'd be happy to plug those. <laughs> so we're having a volunteer event in Kanawha tomorrow morning. Um, we're meeting at the Sonic at 10 a.m. On Sunday, we are having a meet and greet in Shawnee. We'll be there at the airport park. I think the formal name is Dean Wiegand Park um, in Shawnee from 2 to 4. Um, we have a raffle. I'll be able to talk a little more about my platform and visit with folks. And then we have free snow cones for kids. Um, we'll also have some sweet potato pies for sale because we're fundraising <laughs> still uh, making sure we're able to continue to visit with the voters having materials ready for y'all as we go and knock on the doors and then I'm also participating in the we woke up IHS um, areas community walking groups so we'll be in Kanawha on Monday and Holdenville on Tuesday and yeah we're I mean we're, we're making the rounds. I think making we woke in Seminole is when we'll you know be around for uh, 4th of July we'll be around again for 4th of July but yeah, just follow me <laughs> on my on my Facebook page. Um, yeah, making the rounds and staying healthy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> okay. I mean, you got to. <laughs> it's exactly. Yes. Be careful. Take Thank care, Hadam Chichalis, and we'll close it out from here. See you Thank later. you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, there you have it. So we're going to close it out here from uh, Seminole State. Uh, just want to say thank you for all those that are out there watching. We'll try to continue to do some of these more. Uh, but there you have it. Go out and vote uh, July 10th, uh, 7 to 7. So this is Bo Weichler here from uh, Seminole State. Maro Chi Chahlis. Peace.